Hey guys, this is a late in the day thrift trip, but I thought I'd come to Goodwill and see what I could find.
It's you. Okay. I'm just curious. Do yeah. you mind? No, it's you. It's okay. You. I just want to show you what it is. What's wrong? Right here. Ah. Okay, okay. Needs a little repair? Okay. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you telling me that. Thank you. Yeah, just close. And my bag, but oh well. <laughs> okay, it's just like too little disposable. It's this one. Hey guys, I just finished at the outlet. Let's go see what I got. Hey guys, it's Denali. I'm back home with my haul and I just want to show you everything I got. So I have my receipt here. I ended up spending $25.55. That is including tax. I pay $1.79 per pound. I got 13 pounds. So let's get into it. Okay, that first item that I'm going to show you is this Patagonia puffer which you may have seen in the video. This is a women's size medium. It's in really good condition. The only flaw is this hole on the back. <laughs> so it looks like they tried stitching it, um, but I'm gonna see what sort of repair I can do to it, uh, possibly patch it up. But yeah, I'm happy that I got it and I was happy that that guy decided to share with me. I appreciate it. Okay, the next piece I picked up was this Zara Knitwear Fancy Collection. That's what it says. <laughs> Sweater. It's really pretty. It's this mm, kind of hard to tell, but it's a lavender color and it does have a metallic knit in here and it's speckled with other colors. I'm just seeing now that it's actually kids. It's a size 13, 14 kids, but honestly, this could also be like a women's small, but of course I will list it as a kids. I also grabbed this Columbia jacket. This is a women's size large, and it was in great condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, there was a little bit of discoloration here along the zipper line, but I just used uh, this stain spray that I use. It's called like Grandma's Stain Remover, and it's supposed to remove everything, and it did on that, so I was stoked. <laughs> Okay, the next item is this vintage t-shirt. It's a Hard Rock Cafe shirt, and you'll see it says Peros, P-A-R-O-S. At first I thought, oh, is it just supposed to be Paris and it's not Paris? No, Peros is in Greece. I looked it up once I went home. It is a single stitch t-shirt. You can see there's a single stitch along the sleeve there. It's 100% cotton, size extra small. It does have some stains and stuff, and I don't know, I probably could have sprayed it and let it sit for longer, but I didn't. So I'll probably just sell it as is. I googled it and I couldn't find anything for Peros. So I don't know if that's a good sign or not, <laughs> but we'll, we'll find out. I did grab these Lands and Kids snow bib. It's a size six. The style is called the Squall. And what's nice about these, which the tag says inside here, they're grow alongs. And so it says this garment is designed to grow as your child gets taller. Sleeves will get one and a half inch longer. There's some sleeves on this. Pant leg will get an extra two inches longer. Just turn inside out, snip the brightly colored thread and let out the hem. So I'm curious if they did that. I can't tell. I can't tell if anything looks snip. They look fine to me, but the way kids grow, which is like weeds, these are a good investment for parents. I did look up comps and I saw some sell for about $40. It's not bad. Okay, this I'm pretty sure is, is this Ellen DeGeneres line? I don't even know where this is sold. It says ED, it's a size extra small, and it's just this goat with a, is that a gold chain necklace? And the butt is on the back, which you can't see, but there's the booty. I don't know. I thought it was cute. And I don't know where her stuff is sold. It's 100% cotton. I feel like I've seen some stuff at maybe Walmart before, but I'm, I'm not sure. But then I've seen nicer, you know, pieces. I'm sure she has a lot of diffusion lines. All right, this is a Helly Hansen jacket. Helly Hansen is retails for so much money. So I did grab this. It's a men's extra large and I think it's a rain jacket because it definitely feels like it. I was bummed though because when I got home, as you may have seen, I was rushed at the bins. I was there uh, pretty late. 
there's some cracking and stuff here. So I will just sell it as is and disclose the flaws. Um, but pieces like this can sometimes like originally retail for three to $500 from Helly Hansen. So if that was obviously in better condition, my resale value would be higher, but I still think I can make a little bit of money off of it. Let me know your thoughts. The next piece is Mountain Hardware. So this one had a little bit of wear as well. It's a men's extra large once again. The outside actually looks really great, which is wonderful. Not much to see here. The inside, it's like this light windbreaker, but anyways, it's got this cloth lining in here and it was kind of pilly. So I deep pilled it as best as I could, but I'll just disclose that in the listing that it does have this pilling on the inside. I don't really think most people will care. I mean, if you were wearing it shirtless, then yeah, that would feel weird on your body. <laughs> Okay, next, this took me forever to figure out, and by forever, I mean like 10 seconds in, <laughs> while I was at the outlet, to figure out if this was Lululemon or not. It's definitely seen better days. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. However, uh, I finally saw, oh, look, there's the little Lululemon logo on the back. But yeah, it took me way too long to figure that out. I'm curious. Oh my gosh. And of course, of all the things intact in here is the size sticker. So it's a size four. Yeah, there's that. Okay, this is a women's extra small REI fleece jacket. It's in good condition, you know? I just couldn't leave it behind. Here in Western Washington, we spend a lot of our time indoors because it's cold out. It's still cold out. It's actually raining outside right now. However, once summer hits, people are just itching to go outside. We have beautiful summers here. And so anyways, pieces like that, they're kind of lightweight where you might need to wear it in the evening, but you don't need to wear it in the day can sell well. That's why we have a ton of it here. Speaking of similar type pieces, this is a Columbia titanium black vest. I don't know what the titanium means. Does that mean it's better quality? It's a men's medium and the fleece is in pretty good condition. I might use my little comb on here. Otherwise it's just like linty. So I do have a little fleece comb that I'll use on here. I'll put it in the description down below in case you guys want to see it. Uh, but anyways, it usually does a pretty good job of reviving the fleece. I've been finding this brand often. I don't know. Maybe I was just didn't have my eyes open to it before, but I feel like I did. Um, it's the brand Robert Graham. And this is a men's tailored fit medium. And yeah, this one's actually a more fun piece that I have found of theirs. And it's not as crazy. Is Robert Graham just not doing their fancy flip cuffs anymore? Because... Did they realize that there was less of a market for it? Maybe. Um, comps on that, not exactly sure, especially on that style because that seems like way more neutral than any Robert Graham I've ever seen before. Okay, this was just too fun and I had to grab it. There's not even any tags on the neck inside here. It doesn't appear that a tag was torn out. So <laughs> it took me a second at the bins. I was like, wait, do I want this? And then I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> a Snape t-shirt so if you're a Harry Potter fan then you will appreciate that. I actually think I'm just gonna keep it for my son because I feel like he would enjoy wearing that. So yeah it's not an adult size I don't think or it would be like a women's small. Found one of my favorite outdoor brands and it is the brand Cool and these are a men's 3832. They're vintage patina dye and I think they're in pretty good condition. When I was looking at them, I didn't see anything too weird. There's a little bit of, um, what do I call it? Snagging, tearing. I hate to call it a tear because it's so minor. Um, but that is not, oh, there's some whiskering here. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not because it's not really on the other side. Anyways, I'll disclose all of that obviously, but again, another great outdoor brand, great for summer especially if you can find any that like zip off with the pant leg. Okay, this is super fun. It's a vintage REI men's, I think it's a men's button down. It's a size large and it's just this world map print. I mean, I had to, I had to do it guys, sorry. Okay, so if you've seen any of my prior hauls from recently, I talk about the trifecta of brands, which is uh, <laughs> Smart Wool, Architerix, and I can't remember the other one, but I think we should add icebreaker to it 
because I feel like Icebreaker is also a really great brand. Uh, this camisole alone will probably go for somewhere between $30 to $50. It's a little fuzzy because it's like fresh out of being laid flat to dry. I did not put it in the dryer, I laid flat. And I'll need to lint roll it as well. But that wool is like smart wool. People just love it. It could be busted up and people will still buy it. Next item is this beautiful sweater from Anthropology. Look at how pretty the bottom is. I just love that. It's got, it's like a turtleneck or a mock neck. I'm not sure what you would call that, but it's the brand Moth. There is the tag there and it's a size medium and it's just this kind of mustard yellow color, but the like cable knit on here is just fabulous. All right, I don't always pick up this brand until I do. <laughs> so this is the brand Lulu's. This is a size small, but I just thought this dress was really pretty. And I was thinking, you know, maybe people are gonna have like proms or stuff coming up. The lace was just in good condition. So honestly, that's really why I bought it. And then I just put it in my washer and I hung to dry as opposed to laid flat to dry. And it held up really well, so that's great. And I think this is my last item. I'm looking over there. It's, it's a really small haul for me, guys. So this is, I don't even know, guys. It's fringe. It's black. I don't know if it's leather. A skirt? Something. I tried finding comps on this, but there isn't any information. I think I'll probably get like 20 bucks or something like that. I'm trying to smell it to smell if it smells like leather, but I have a really bad sense of smell. So fun fact about me. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I just thought it looked really cool. <laughs> it could be like from Forever 21, but I just thought it was awesome. You guys tell me if you know where this is from or if you've sold one similarly. I, at first I thought it was something for people who wear motorcycles or whatever, but no way, this is way too long. So yeah, I don't know. Even if I get like 20, 30 bucks for it, I'll be pleased. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.